What's up, E2? I'm Alexis. And I'm Tim. We have an amazing show for you today with stories on teen vaping and the district referendum that is happening next week. But first, since October is Domestic Awareness Month, several people associated with Eastview share their personal experiences with abuse. Here's Ani bringing awareness to domestic violence. I actually was one who was being abused. My dad started to get violent. Domestic violence is a pattern of how we describe it as coercion and to gain control over somebody. In many lives, there are things much bigger than taking tests and doing homework. The month of October is dedicated to domestic violence awareness with a focus on breaking the silence about this hidden issue. Many people do not know, but one in four women and one in 10 men will experience some sort of domestic abuse. Always just the hitting, um, more like the punching bag. He would threaten us, he would hit us. Um, if we didn't obey his rules, we'd get punished. It's random rages that he would come out and flashback at us. There's certain behaviors that you can begin to notice aren't the healthiest. It could be something simple as um, how controlling that uh, person is. If they're physically crossing your boundaries, the way to help is to just ask them. Don't feel too afraid or nervous about walking up to them because it really does save lives. Be a listening ear. Find that person who was the victim and letting them know, hey, are you okay? Do you want to get help? True love don't hurt. As you can see, domestic violence can affect anyone. It's time to break the silence. If you know someone in an abusive relationship, speak up, it's worth it. If you yourself are in an unhealthy relationship, get help because like Regina said, love shouldn't hurt. Setting off for The Flash, this is Annika. We really want to thank the brave people who shared their stories with us today. They did so because they wanted to help others make a difference. Our sincerest thanks goes out to you. If you have any concerns about this topic, talk to a counselor or an adult. Let's break the silence. A growing, t a growing trend around among ECU teens is also growing concern about safety of the alternative smoking. Caleb explored the topic and how it is becoming more prevalent in ECU community. An e-cigarette is a battery powered device that converts liquid nicotine into a mist or vapor that the user inhales. Although relatively new, e-cigs have become more and more popular in the last few years. Vaping, in my mind, is a lot safer than a cigarette. I'd rather be caught vaping than smoking a cigarette. It's becoming so popular that some students are even vaping in school. The actual e-cigarette itself, it's called the nicotine delivery system. And it doesn't have to have the nicotine in the tank for it to be illegal for somebody under the age of 18 to possess. Although the FDA gave it their stamp of approval, there's still not enough information to be really sure of all of its health effects. There's a lot of misconceptions about it and a lot of things we don't know about it. Um, the tank that is on the e-cigarettes can hold either just a flavor shot that does not have nicotine. There could be a nicotine-based flavor in there. And the newest thing that we're seeing is actually a concentrated form of marijuana that's being smoked in there. Now that we know that e-cigs can hold illegal substances, it makes the future of this device even more concerning. Signing off for The Flash, this is Caleb. It is amazing how little we know about the effects of vaping, yet vaping popularity is growing in so much. Thanks, Caleb. $180 million is no small chunk of change, but that kind of money would not doubt have a profound impact on anything. To find out the impactful, how impactful that kind of money could be in our own school district, Baker and Lucka filed this next report. A recent proposal for the District 196 bond referendum has been brewing up a lot of controversy. Which is why The Flash sent not one, but two correspondents to go deep. And take a look at the aspects of 
Technology. We sat down with superintendent of schools and most popular person on a snow day, Superintendent Barons. When our buildings were built, um, we didn't know what it would be present day now. So we had a lot of buildings that were built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and a few later on, like Eastview. As a result, security concerns have developed within the district, prompting various responses to possible threats. You don't have to go into the office area. You can go anywhere without someone stopping you and having to get through locked doors. Visitors to Apple Valley High School this year are presenting their actual driver's license or official identification. Not only is the referendum looking to implement uniform security standards, but also to integrate technology across all of the schools. So the idea is to give our kids as many tools as possible, but um, and you all like this, to expand your learning 24-7. Mm -hmm. Kids can fly if they all have the same tools. Um, there are a lot of possibilities with that. How can we in District 196 give kids more opportunities to create pretty powerful things and have really dynamic learning experiences? But it's not just devices, it's the structure to make sure that they're at the speed that makes sense for all of you. Yeah, learning is a little more fun. It's, learning is pretty cool when we get to use these. Schools will see all of these changes if the bond referendum passes on November 3rd. If the bond referendum fails, the status quo is likely to continue. Thanks, Baker, for giving us the scoop on the district referendum. The vote is next Tuesday. So Halloween is coming up this weekend, and I should probably figure out my costume. I'm thinking Caitlyn Jenner or nah. <laughs> that fits you so well. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eastview. I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween. Enjoy the credits. My favorite Halloween candy is Swedish Fish. I like Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Kit Kat. <laughs> I personally like Bright Twix. Ah! Oh! Kittle. Ah! Uh, 